question for you. Are you aware of the people around you in your workplace? That security guard who greeted you this morning, did you greet him back? The messenger who brought you the documents you needed, did you thank him by name? Or that person behind the cashier's window, have you bothered to find out how her family is doing? I will be the first to admit that very often I neglect to go beyond the regular co-worker relationship with people at work. I have to take extra effort to get out of that comfort zone, to get to know the people I work with, even just a layer beneath the surface. There's a tendency to look at people at work, not as people, but as co-workers, who just happen to be in the same workplace as you are. Without intending to, we tend to look at them as uh, less than humans, just people who are there to do their jobs. We dehumanize them. We often ignore the people who serve us, those who perform the menial tasks in our workplace. We take them for granted too often that sometimes it is as if they don't exist anymore. We pass them by in our day-to-day -day work without acknowledging their presence, the security guards, the messenger, the janitors, the utility people, sometimes even the clerical staff. Especially if you're in a management position, there's a tendency to look at people as less than humans. They become manpower in our minds, mere employees with job descriptions, movable parts of a system, replaceable cogs in a wheel, or worse, cost items to be managed. They come and go without us ever knowing their names. How rarely do we ever get to know their lives outside of work? We never get to find out about their families, about what they're passionate about, about the stories of their lives. There's a temptation to assess the value of, of people by the salaries they receive and the value of their contribution to the company or organization. It simplifies things in our mind. And we do not have to deal with the complexities of, of the lives of the people we work with. Let us remember that these people are not just co-workers. They are people made in the image of God, just like you and me. There was a time when Jesus was asked which one of God's commandments were the greatest. Jesus responded that just after the love for God, the second greatest commandment is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love is still the most fundamental basis of our relationships with people, even with the people we work with. Let us not treat them as less than the individual persons that God created them to be. Resist the temptation to dehumanize them in your mind as less than what they truly are. Because in the way we treat the people we work with, faith matters too.